Welcome to uh, Lecture Online, the part 3 of uh, Velocity and Acceleration Diagram. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen uh, how to draw a velocity diagram for a simple slider, slider crank mechanism. So in this session, we will slightly complicate the numerical by trying to give a uh, few more points which is on the extension of the connecting rod and few more points on the connecting rod and uh, also as per the problem you are also required to find a point on the connecting rod with the least velocity so there is some so you know that this is the connecting rod so you need to find some point on the connecting rod which has the least velocity so we we have the slider crank mechanism here and as per the numerical it is given as the crank is at an angle of 45 degree with respect to the inverted center and it has got a length of 400 mm and the length of the connecting rod is PC which is 900 mm and the connecting rod extends by 300 mm and there are two more points on the connecting rod exactly in the midpoint PM which is actually 450 and one more point which is near to the piston which is D. So this is basically a connecting I mean uh, basically an IC engine mechanism with a piston with a connecting rod and a crank with this configuration. So in the examination um, once this numerical is given to you the first thing that you have to do is you need to construct this diagram as per scale or uh, I mean uh, to actually uh, to some scale. So here it is given as 900 mm so you can't draw 900 mm because 900 mm is 90 centimeters which is not possible. So you take a scale of 10 is to 1 that means reduce all this by 10 times. So this 400 mm connect crank becomes 40 mm this 900 mm becomes 90 mm and so on. So as per the conversion scale is taken as 10 is to 1 which means that whatever is actually 10 here it becomes 1 in the configuration diagram. So you call this as configuration diagram. Configuration diagram and then you take the scale so this PC 900 mm becomes 90 mm which is 9 centimeters and this becomes uh, uh, 40, 4, 45 mm and this 400 mm becomes 40 mm so with this dimension you start making the diagram and the first thing that you do is you first draw an horizontal line first you draw an horizontal line and then locate this point and then then at an angle of 45 degree 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, 45 degree you locate a point and then draw a line draw a line and then measure this length as 40 mm here so 10, 20, 30, 40 mm and from here you cut an arc you cut an arc at a distance of 90 mm here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so you cut an arc at a distance of 90 here so along the axis so thus you locate the piston so like this you first construct this crank and the connecting rod and then as per the dimensions here there's an extension for the connecting rod so since it is 300 mm so extend it by 30 mm here extend it by one Two, three here so locate this point so this point is E and then since this is 90 mm the midpoint is for that is 450 and uh, PC sorry PD is 300 mm so from here to here it is 300 mm and also some point in the connecting rod which has the least velocity has to be found out so maybe around 15 to 20% of the marks is 
reserved for uh, drawing a configuration diagram. So this is a necessity to go ahead with the problem. It is the reason some marks is being uh, allotted for uh, drawing a configuration diagram. Without a configuration diagram, you can't draw a velocity diagram and also an acceleration diagram. But this problem is about drawing a velocity diagram. Now, as we know that the velocity of the point C can be easily found out because it is given both in terms of direction and magnitude. We know that the velocity of the point C with respect to the fixed point O, if you call this point as O, the velocity of C with respect to point O is nothing but the radius of this which is in not don't worry about the configuration diagram the actual radius is 400 mm multiplied by omega so omega is given as 20 radians per second 20 radians per second and therefore the answer comes to be like 8000 so here okay, all the calculations is shown here 400 mm into 20 radians per second it becomes 800 8000 millimeters per second which is 8 meters per second so this 8 meters per second is the magnitude and the direction we know that whenever whenever a link is made to rotate about a fixed point this point c would always move perpendicular to the this radius would always move perpendicular to this radius so here the perpendicular can be seen like this this is perpendicular either this way or it can move either this way so if it is rotating in this direction it is going to move this way if it is going suppose if it is rotating in this direction it will move this way so in this diagram in this diagram it is shown that it is actually rotating at 20 radians per second in this direction so therefore the velocity of this point c should be definitely perpendicular to this and this vc should be in this direction so we know the value of vc with respect to o or simply vc because it because O is a stationary point so we can simply write it as VC it is the absolute velocity and the direction is known and also as per uh, the calculations here 8000 mm per second is 8 meters per second so therefore 8 meters per second magnitude has to be shown here for your reference uh, I have already showed how the diagram should be at the end of the numerical so we will try to reconstruct the same diagram in few minutes from now so this 8 meter i mean 8 meters per second has to be drawn as a vector but 8 meters cannot be actually drawn here so some scale has to be taken here so what we do is we, we will actually multiply this by 5 times so this is the scale 5 times which gives you 40 mm which gives you 40 mm so 40 mm refers to 8, 8 meters per second so this is the scale that we have taken for drawing the vector here so locate the point with zero velocity so this is the reference velocity so there is only one point in the mechanism which has zero velocity that is the point O so we will mention this O and the velocity of the point C is perpendicular to this link so what we will do is we will try to draw we'll, ok I'll keep a scale, a scale like this and then and uh, keep this set square in this way so that I will be able to draw a line which is actually perpendicular right now I have drawn a perpendicular but I have to draw a 40 mm line here so here I will try to measure 40 mm here so this is the vector which represents velocity of C with respect to O 
and its magnitude is taken as 40 mm which is actually 8 meters per second so here we have taken the scale scale has been multiplied by 5 so now this point is the velocity of c so the velocity of c is known to me now and also in the case of a slider connect mechanism the piston has to always slide along the line of action so either it has to go like this or it has to come like this depending upon the reciprocal i mean depending upon the rotation of the crank since the crank is rotating like this obviously the piston will have to move along this line there is no other way so the direction of the motion of p is known to me but its magnitude is not known so since the direction is known so parallel to this line parallel to this line i can use a roller scale if i have right now i don't have it so i now draw a line like this and which is parallel to this and i draw a line so somewhere here i should be able to locate p depending upon the velocity i know the direction the direction is this way but i don't know the magnitude so i have not still drawn the arrow mark here so p should be somewhere here and also i know that the c if you okay, if you consider cp as a link and if you consider this if you forget that p is the slider which has to rotate like this and you only imagine that c and p are actually to, okay is actually a link where c is an inch point where c is an inch point here like this then every point on the link should move perpendicular to this cp so if this is the inch point then this p should move perpendicular to this or if p is the inch point c should move perpendicular to this and therefore imagining that c okay, imagining that with respect to c p will move perpendicular to this so i already know the velocity of c and i because i know the magnitude and the direction so i located the velocity so from this point 